Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation 2x square minus x plus 3y minus 2xy equal to 17. In other words, we are going to find the value of x and y where x and y are integers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. We are going to isolate y first. So therefore, I am going to move this 3y and negative 2xy on the right hand side. And at the very same time, I'm going to move this 17 on the other side. So therefore, our this equation is going to become 2x squared minus x minus 17 equals to 2xy minus 3y. And in this next step, I have flipped this uh, equation around. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And now on the left hand side, we got this y as a common. So therefore, we can factor out y outside and we got 2x minus 3 equals to 2x square minus x minus 17 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2x minus 3 on this side and 2x minus 3 on this side as well and now we can see this 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3 is gone so therefore we are ended up with y equals to 2x square minus x minus 17 divided by 2x minus 3. Now in this next step we are going to perform this long division on this right hand side. So therefore in this rational function on the right hand side this 2x minus 3 is our divisor. So it's going to be outside over here. 2x minus 3 whereas this numerator which is our dividend is going to be inside over here 2x square minus x minus 17. Now let me show you how to perform this long division. Let's look at these leading terms 2x square and 2x on this side. I can write this thing first 2x square divided by this uh, 2x and this simplifies as x. So therefore I'm going to write down this x on the top over here as a quotient. Now let's go ahead and multiply this x with these two terms. So that is going to give us 2x squared minus 3x. Let's go ahead and subtract them. So I'm going to change the sign. Positive become negative. Negative become positive. This is gone. So we got this thing 2x and this negative 17. I'm going to bring it down right here. Now we are going to repeat the process once again. I'm going to write down this 2x over here divided by this leading term 2x over here as well. And they reduce to simply 1. Therefore, I am going to write down this positive one on the top over here as a quotient. Now let's go ahead and multiply this positive one once again with these two terms. So that is going to give us 2x minus 3. Now let's go ahead and subtract once again this negative and this becomes positive. This is gone and here we got negative 14. As a result, we got this negative 14 as our remainder. x plus 1 is our quotient and this 2x minus 3 is our divisor. So therefore, this right hand side, this part, this our rational function could be written as we can write this thing x plus 1 first. I'm going to write down this x plus 1 quotient and then put a plus sign and then I'm going to write down this uh, negative 14 divided by this divisor which is 2x minus 3 and we still have a y outside. So therefore we got this equation y has been isolated over here. 
and now let's focus on this rational part and here I have copied it down and let's focus on this numerator negative 14. We are going to look at the possible divisors of negative 14. So the possible divisors of negative 14 are going to be positive or negative 1, positive or negative 1, uh, 2 rather, positive or negative 7 and positive or negative 14. And now let's focus on this denominator. This is our divisor and we can see that this divisor is an odd number since 3 is subtracting. And since our divisor is an odd, so therefore we are going to reject these even divisors. So therefore our this divisor is going to take up the values of 2x minus 3 is going to be equal to positive or negative 1 or positive or negative 7. So therefore 2x minus 3 could take up value of 1, negative 1, 7 and negative 7 as you can see over here. And now let's go ahead and focus on this very first equation. Let's go ahead and add 3 on both sides. This is gone. So 2x turns out to be equal to 4. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore our x value turns out to be 2. Therefore we are ended up with x equal to 2 for this equation. Now let's focus on this next equation. And here if we solve we are going to get x equal to 1 value. Therefore x equals to 1 for this uh, equation. And likewise this next equation if we solve for x uh, our x value is going to be equal to 5. And finally for this equation our x is going to be equal to negative 2. And now we are going to find the value of y by just plugging in these x values in this given equation. And now let's focus on this x equal to 2 value. Let me go ahead and replace wherever we see x by 2 and here by 2 as well. So therefore y is going to be 2 plus 1 plus negative 14 and we know in our case this is 2x minus 3 equal to 1. So therefore I'm going to replace this 2x minus 3 by simply 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3 and then this is negative 14 and that is going to give us a negative 11. So therefore our y value turns out to be negative 11. So let me write down y equals to negative 11. And now let's focus on this next value of x which is 1. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So y is going to be equal to 1 plus 1 plus negative 14 divided by this 2x minus 3 value is negative 1. So I'm going to just divide it by negative 1. So therefore I'm going to write down y equal to 16 value. And now let's focus on this next value of x which is 5. Let's plug it in. So y equal to 5 plus 1 plus negative 14 divided by this 2x minus 3 value in our case is 7. So therefore in this case our y value is 4. And finally let's focus on this x equal to negative 2 value. Let's plug it in. y equals to negative 2 plus 1 plus negative 14 divided by this uh, negative 7 value. So therefore our y value, the corresponding y value turns out to be 1. Therefore here are our solution in terms of x and y. So the first one is going to be 2 and negative 11. The second is going to be 1 and 16. So I can write 1 and 16. The next one is 5 and 4 and finally this is going to be negative 2 and 1. And here are our solutions. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.